It's good, I don't feel any wind. But I've seen some people go down pretty hard. Yeah, I think, I think commentating, I didn't really realize it, but I love it. It feels like I'm doing a race run. Land to run is definitely what ev everyone coming to a contest wants to do. Stands surrounding us. Just finished whip off. It's been sick. Simon killed it as usual. Spun the biggest jump on the fucking hill. We are currently in Innsbruck for the third stop of the Crankworks series. And yeah, tomorrow we will start practice here. So we got everything ready today, pack the bike up, check out the course and yeah, just adjusting to being here. My expectation, I don't really have any expectations. Um, I'm not in slope style for this event. So I'm riding speed and style and I just want to do, not do good, but I want to do like be content with my efforts. Um. Anyone that's into the Crankbook series, uh, I hope everyone tunes in for a live stream. That's what we all come here for and uh, do train for almost every day. We want to showcase the best riding possible and uh, yeah, we only get to show it a couple times a year, so. Today's the first practice day. Just wanted to make sure my bars are not perfect. Yeah, I'm excited to get out there and see what the course is all about. I come here for before the competition, of course, so that's what I definitely look forward to the most, like to do the competition and uh, that's definitely what I want to do, but uh, as I said before, like you never expect it, so yeah, just lo look forward to get on course and start riding and uh, yeah. How's the weather? Hot. Really hot. This feels like Australia actually. Um, <laughs> it's boiling. We haven't even started riding. It's like 20 minutes to 10. So uh, I think it's going to be a hot, hot day to here today. And then tomorrow seems like it's even warmer. So Lots of water and lots of shade. Hmm? Lots of water and lots of shade. Yeah, there isn't a lot of shade out around here. No. <laughs> do our best. I'll try both those cameras. <laughs> I hope that cord hanging down doesn't need to be plugged in, but that's no, okay. No, that's, <laughs> exactly. <But it's>, <laughs> this one. <laughs> I, I would have to say I'm looking forward to the downhill because it's one of my favorite races. It's right in the middle of the season, so I get to see a ton of my friends and commentate on a track that is, it's super fast and everything happens so quick that there's a lot to talk about. I like to walk the track and try to get as much info as I can. I'll go up and kind of watch the riders and see what they're doing. But it's really trying to take the whole week and condense it into this one commentary that happens at the end of the week. So I'm trying to get as much information as possible every single day. I feel like my job as a commentator is to <laughs> explain why it's so hard to ride as fast as they do on a downhill bike. So I feel like I'm kind of the director of attention. So I'm trying to tell you exactly where they're gonna put their wheels, why did they break where they braked, if they're pumping or they misalign, it's my job to kind of like point that out to you. Um, and I think that that's definitely the biggest challenge to really explain it in an accessible way, but also do the riders justice. I'm gonna get some coffee from you. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Good, and you? Good. Um, let's see, do you have, let's see, do you have like oat milk, almond milk? Yes, I have. I'm going to do an oat, oat milk latte. Latte? Yeah. And what kind of coffee do you want? Or do you need like a really strong, dark one? Or more on the fruity, blueberry, sour side? Or something in between? 
You know, you, you pick. I, I, I pick. Yeah, okay. I don't know that much about coffee. Yeah, I think, I think commentating, I didn't really realize it, but I love it because it's kind of a performance. It feels like I'm uh, like on, feels like I'm doing a race run where it's, you prep, you prep, and, and even before you get here, you're kind of prepping and, and seeing what people are doing throughout the season. And then there's one moment where you like have to switch it on and like not make any mistakes because it's live. It feels, yeah, it feels like kind of doing a race run as a, as a downhill racer. Yeah, maybe you should start buying yourself a coffee machine and then buy good coffee from us. And then I explain you all the different roasts. So we're recording the first couple of episodes of You Inspire Us and I'm super, super excited to kind of bring these conversations that we have as athletes um, and ambassadors kind of behind the scenes at events like this and, and bring the vibe to everyone at home listening. It's one of my favorite things about going to the events is kind of like seeing my friends and, and meeting all of these people who do totally different things than I do, even like the slope style athletes and um, the adventure athletes and stuff like that. So being able to kind of launch it at Crankworks is, is special for I think a lot of reasons. Yeah, I mean, uh, the week's just getting started, so I feel like it's going to get more hectic. Everything is just getting started. Crankworks is like a slow build-up. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, interested to see what I say in the next couple of days. Good luck, Ali. The spin style course is pretty sick. It's been quite the same for the past few years. Uh, this is actually where I uh, raced uh, spin style the first, my first time. We pretty much had the same course since 2017. There's been minor changes on the course, so... I mean, it's not like a blank paper anymore. Like, you already... Everyone that's been here multiple years in a row and multiple years over, over time has kind of done things on the course and it kind of... I don't know, I've, I find it sometimes can limit you. Uh, it's okay. First couple ups, it's all good. I mean, it's a good course. It's just the soil is still kind of yeah soft. It just crumbles when you ride it, so it just feels like yeah. Well, it's still good with the speed you get, but if it would be packed, you would be going so far on everything because now you clear it well. But if it would have been actually more solid, you would have been <laughs> passing everything. So. Um, yeah, but it's good. Man. How is it? Ah, how is it? It's fast. It's, it's like hard to know where you're at, kind of. It's like fucking fast. What's up? I'm heading out for the speeding style practice. Um, Yo, all good? Yo, you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, yeah, just gonna have the first couple of laps, see how it feels, got see any, what happens. Okay, got any game plan? Try to go fast, do some tricks. I don't really know. I'll send you the number one like yeah. artist. Yeah. It's fucking Let's go. sick. <laughs> What's happening? Um, kind of having a rainstorm come through. Uh, I was planning uh, very positively, or I was positive that the weather was going to be good in the afternoon. So I was like, I just wait till three o'clock so I get two hours of good practice in instead of being out in the big heat from two till three. So I did that. And then when I wanted to go on course, they already started tarping it because they were anticipating this rain to roll in, so... Uh, shit planning for me, looking in the rear mirror, but... It's not much to do, it's just how it is, I guess. Yeah. Can't, can't really predict it. No. Hey! Hey, how's it going? It's good. Uh, a bit loose, but it's getting there. Now it's starting to rain and shit. You're doing it's good. Good with the roller when you're jumping.
Hey, we are out at Crankworx Innsbruck, enjoying the vibe here. So I'm, I'm not here to do any big events or races. I'm just here to enjoy the vibe, but I couldn't resist to enter the whip off because it's always been looking, every year it looks amazing, so I, I couldn't resist it. Coming to my city, let's a person, let's a ride a whip. In front, the village of the Flera Sumale, by the European official whip off. <laughs> Yeah, that's warm. We see it out, so I have no idea. The crowd was amazing, and the view were stunning. I made it to the finals and had good fun. Great crew, good vibes, good crowd, good weather. So, what more can you expect? Exactly, it was top notch. Perfect. Tents surrounding us. Just finished whip off. It's been sick. Simon killed it as usual. Spun the biggest jump on the fucking hill, I guess. It was yeah. sick. Alma killed it. All the boys and girls killed it so, so much. It was sick. Um, but now we're heading down. Big day tomorrow. Anyone that's into the Crank Group series, uh, I hope everyone tunes in for a live stream. That's what we all come here for and uh, do train for almost every day we want to showcase the best riding possible and uh, yeah we only get to show it a couple times a year so to come here and be here uh, for the third stop of the season uh, is very exciting for us as riders so to have fans support it and come out to watch as well as tune in online uh, means a lot it, helps the sport grow and move forward and uh, we as riders in the Crankwick series get to do what we love and yeah, it's awesome.